you didn't treat me like this in 1921. Click, click, tap on that pitcher of gin. I hate that you always do this. Two ice instead of one. Clink, bloody clink, in my bloody drink. I take the glass while you smirk that smirk of a jerk who puts two ice instead of one. You don't listen. That's always been your trouble. Or perhaps you prefer a mean charade, so in some peculiar world you somehow feel a win. It's 1933, almost 34. Admit you've gotten prettier in a color contrast way. Gaunter for sure. But a decade has given you a frantic flinting fizz. Or, I've grown used to your face, your wig. You like that cherry chintz chair. And now there you plop. You give me smug head. Oh dear, that look. Those eyes that threaten talk. Please don't. But I see that purse of a mouth part. I see you finally got into that dress. Or did you take it out of it? Can't resist the jab, you clockwork mouse. I drink my glass to its dregs. Ice chunks taunt me. Someone's a big thirsty girl. Jump off a building, Joey. That pulls somewhere you drink. You're definitely oral compulsive. Freud would say so. Do it. Jump. Off. Find your dear Freud and take him too. I put my crystal globe down and only smile in reply. For the life of me, I cannot imagine how you got into that dress. Those grey teeth, liney lips moving. Make them stop. I grab an ice. You sip and stare with your skinny legs and baggy pantaloons, that stupid old posture, those circular frames. Cat got your tongue? You know, dear, it would have food for a week. The ice bites me. I squeeze the cold into my fingers. In the quiet, you swallow your throat globulating slow, gluggity glug. You stand, don't do this, Joey. But you walk over, stare me up and down. Your caustic eyes flash beneath vain, shiny lids. You know, dear, no matter that dress, I think we can both agree. You're still a fat old whore, Margaret. And you turn, very coolly, the back of your head to my face. I never knew its circumference so much as now. My hands from behind force open your mouth and ram an ice in. Swing your head round and punch your crooked mouth. Love your surprise. I want that surprise. I punch your throat for good measure. Finally, you flail. Ice in your throat. You fall. Convince. The scene? Delicious. I pour myself a proper gin. One ice, not two. In the wall mirror, I scrutinize. I look good in that dress. Your words were too cold and choking. That's always been your trouble. You have the biggest spout. I kick you over, and you know, Joey, I must admit, I feel proud at my handiwork. I could not imagine a better end than you dying from that mouth.